Uh, oh, th is it the same code? It is the same code. Okay. I mean, I don't know. I, I kind of wanted to like practice typing everything out. You know what I mean? And, I uh, respect your wish, but it's not uh, most cost efficient okay. investment of your Fair enough. effort. It's like camera uh, names with a Microsoft. I, I suppose so. Yeah. It is, it, it is uh, distributed by an email. Yeah. Yeah. It's the uh, same code. I don't know if I can come and sit on your chair. Please start the class. I forgot my glasses, so I can't see it. Uh, since the other part of the class didn't arrive yet, you can just walk and get your glasses. Are they left at home or in different class? Um, home. But uh, you cannot see far or you cannot see close. You, but you can see close, right? But uh, you can connect to Zoom and see everything. Do you have the link? I'll, I'll, I'll resend the link just in short. Did you get the uh, Zoom? Okay. I got the same thing with stuff too. Okay. So, um, no, no, this is this is uh, I didn't set it up to to make a movie, uh, right? Right, <laughs> uh,
so the practice we, we will discuss what all class of arise arise how, how how it works and what, what does it mean but practically uh, you need to manipulate lines five six seven and change uh, numbers there from uh, uh, like 25 to 250 or well I'm, I'm already giving kind of an answer try to modify the three numbers and see and rerun and see what happens Hmm? What? Who replied? Sam? Let's see. How about we just do it and then they can watch the recording and do it? No. Uh, <laughs> it's same as I remember we, we were kind of competing in, in jokes and Eva and Melody told like how about we bring a cake and you wave our homework and I answered how about I bring you a cake and you do double homework yeah. <laughs> Well, if the analytical lab often goes so late, we can start our meeting at six. I don't mind, I, I like evening activities. But let's wait until they arrive. Do you want screenshots like a quick recording? Yeah, yeah, let's. Uh, um, it seems like, I guess I can look through again and actually compare like the screenshots I took, but if you increase one of them by 200, it has like more or less the same effect as like increasing any one of them. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't matter which one. Okay. Uh huh. Shape difference. And what, how and do like as you increase the other ones, it gets more like if you increase two of them, it's more like stair step. Uh huh. Kind of. But then, like all three of them, it's the exact that square root of the curve. 
Yeah, you're basically done. <laughs> Uh, make screenshots and do some basic explanations. I'm trying to unfold this here with L, X, L, Y, and Z. Uh-huh. So, if there's X, Y, and Z, this is like representing um, like the density of states in like a three dimensional space. Like right. Not like a graph, like a 2D graph. How do LX, LY, LZ correspond to the image of the pink box? So tr when you will be doing your PowerPoint with screenshots, try to draw by hand your pink box and mark where are LX, LY, LZ. Well, it could be you would just arbitrarily assign them pretty much. So you could just pick your axes and because changing one of them is the like they're interchangeable. Like you can change any of these. And it seems at least that the resulting graph will be the same. Whether you <laughs> <laughs> so, what what is this? What is this? What is it? Yeah. So now it is L Z is bigger than L X L Y. If I rotate it, now L X is bigger than L Z L Y, but it's still the same object. Yeah. Does that answer your question? Uh, yes. I mean, so they, uh, that's kind of what I was saying. It's like it's, it's, if you are drawing your box and labeling like which parts, like how one act like axes, I guess, mm -hmm. changes the graph, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter like which side you assign as X, Y, and Z. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. they would both like increase the box like it you know it doesn't matter like which uh if you change like the height of a box it changes the volume of the box mm -hmm. same as if you would increase like yeah okay um a little challenging question uh for minimalistic size of this lx lyoz how much the second peak is bigger than the first peak. How the relative height uh, differ. Oh, how like how uh, much larger the second peak is than the compared to the first, like, it's like two and a half times, yeah. But, mm, I don't know what that means. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, you can change these numbers, like just like increase them to 200. And it'll, if you like increase one of them by 200, it'll like, but it's the same. This is the same as you have right there. But, Stuck where? You're stuck here. Like, can you put all the meat on your side? It didn't. No. What if you? Oh, that's weird. 
Maybe if you just close out of it and try to run it again, it'll pop up. Yes. Yeah, thank you much. And uh, if I want to join the um, group meetings, was it the first uh, Zoom link, the first one I joined that I had to keep joining? Yes, the same. The same one for the presentation? Uh, there is a group, there is a link for the group meetings, which is different from the class, but it's the same for group meetings throughout the, the semester. And if I, I didn't have that, I, I can resend it to you. No. Yeah. Um, yeah, I changed. I'm just kind of changing them all like yes. randomly. And so uh, yeah, mine never had, mine never runs for more than like a second. Like if I click, like run. Goes by. Thank you. So, Fred, I have uh, something to bring your attention at. Yes. Um, do you see the figure I'm showing? Yeah. So, uh, what I did, um, I changed uh, this small number slightly different from each other. Okay. And slightly made the, the width of individual peaks smaller. So if I do, if I type hold on, hold on, then uh, return things back to what it was. Save and click rerun. So, and now I repeat the question How much the second peak is taller than the first peak? How many times? Books. Or how the area under the first peak and area under the second peak relate to each other. Oh, is it uh, three times? Yes. Uh, yes. But why? It, it, it's it's <laughs> it's my turn to ask questions. <laughs> exactly why? And you are fully capable to answer it, as anyone who took freshman chemistry. <laughs> Pete table. Uh, 
electrons. Oh, is it just well? Is the so is the um, x-axis? I guess that you're in on the graph is that like the number of electrons in it or what? Because then it would have more energy states if it had more orbitals. I guess the number. So. Uh... Um, <laughs> how many p orbitals do you have on, on a given shell? How many p orbitals have where? On a given shell, like do, do you see what I'm uh, indicating? Oh yeah, like three. Yes. Yeah. And here, uh, if you look on the lower left, so this is how they change. If I click on different. P orbitals, they are oriented along X, along uh, Z, and along Y, right? Okay. Now let's go back to here. Uh, how do you interpret this three peaks? So it's, uh, it's just the number of electrons that are Increasing number of uh, like vibrational, uh, I guess molecular vibrations. Or... There are no vibrations yet. Yeah. Patricia, you you may just mute uh, not the microphone. Well, microphone as well. Oh. The put the volume because if we all increase volume, we will get the feedback. As, as a little fun. Um, yeah, please try to express your own way. How, uh, or like the, um, it's like. Well, we'll look in the, at, at this figure and try to, to interpret it. Or just come on in, show, show by your finger on the, on these images. Uh, and uh, create your own. Um... Uh, I don't know if he's sharing it. Oh, wait, didn't it just show up? Yeah. Is the area under the curve just the number of? possible energy states that particle could have. Uh, can I see the screen? Since I'm looking at ours. I believe I'm sharing the screen. Yes, I... I don't think it shows up. This is like, not the boy. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's try it over. Share screen. There. Better? So Fred, let's make it more fun. Come, come here and let's I, point I point fingers. Up there with that, it, it will be more more fun. It's like so. Well, I don't have it up on mine, but there is one. Let's, let's discuss it here. Yeah. There is no one to hesitate. <laughs> so this black. Peak and the three black peaks, yeah. are they related to what we had in your matter of course? Yes, they're just uh, representative of like the number of uh, cells or electrons. Like, okay, and what are these uh, three numbers? If you if you can read, uh, those I want to say are quantum numbers. Okay, but yes. Uh, and that isn't, don't those represent the number of possible six? Seven, I can't remember. So each, combi each combination of, unique combination of three quantum numbers represent one energy state. Okay, yeah. And what are the values for the first one? Uh, small ones. Okay. 
good and yeah. and for for the second one oh then there's one you know all, all three of them that have one of them that is two okay so all ones except so, except as uh, the red the red one which equal, yeah. equals two and is either last one is two middle one is two or first one is two yes for the one-dimensional particle in the so box it is i don't know um i mean since they're all oriented differently it would i mean they represent like the the possible energy states like uh, how they the ways they can change like on an axis that can like change that can go one way or another way go two ways like on the z axis or the y axis or the x axis what is written here how would you interpret this little thing uh, i mean i don't know uh, just guess what we well, it would be like the the energy density. Uh, well, energy is here, right? Okay. Energy as function of three quantum numbers. Okay. Okay. And uh, symbol is, and here the symbol is, the symbol is. Which is uh, that's psi. Oh, psi, psi. I'm pretty sure that's psi. Wave function. Yeah. Yes. Is it one dimensional wave function or three dimensional? Okay. Yeah. And how it is composed? Uh, out of the relies on the quantum numbers mostly. Like that's what it would. But it's what it back to like the three time trigonometric sinusoidal function. Yeah, and each of which depends on which argument. On uh, like each axis okay. for each dimension. Okay. And uh, how much ranges, how quickly sinusoidal star uh, changing? Is there any relation to quantum numbers? So if you would increase the quantum numbers, you get like more peaks and more uh okay um, okay oh man I, I don't know like the, yeah, the correct okay. terminology but it's just like more ways it can the energy can be different i guess like the you know mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> okay it's and different energy states if m x is one and y is one and z is what is one then there is only one peak on yeah. each dimension. Yeah. Yes. And if you multiply them, should you get something nearly spherical? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And it, now, if, if one of them, let's say x, has two, it means there will be two peaks. Okay. Along yeah. x. Yeah. So you multiply sphere by an object with a node of way, and you get this uh, dumbbell. Okay. But depending on where you place, you plug in two, you will have some well with not a plane or any different in space. Okay. So if they will have the same energy, but they where uh, orbitals are already different in space. Okay. So it's slightly different problem. It's not a hydrogen atom, but it gives the same orientation with the same solution, like an analog of p orbital. And p orbitals are three degenerate. Just because in our space you have three Cartesian projections. Yeah. So the relation of first peak and second peak is three to one, just because our space is three dimensional. Okay. Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, that makes, that makes sense. Well, less. Yeah. Why is it more? Uh...
What do you think about humans? Oh, what? What do you think about units? Or you can answer, I do not think about units. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't thought about units at all in this class either. It's all. Uh, what, what are you thinking about units in, in uh, other classes? Uh, like joules and electron volts and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. Uh, so um, LX, LY, LZ. Can you guess what are the units? Like, uh, how does it relate to real molecules and real uh, world? Is it just arbitrary numbers as an abstract concept, or they have some re relation to real world? But you, those numbers are R for electron volts. But L, X, L, Y, L, Z are size of the books. Yeah. And electron volts are typically. A units of um, energy. energy. Yes. So, what are the uh, which units of size space uh, we typically? Use? Yeah, to move it back for the other guys when they get here. <laughs> I will. I will. Sure. <laughs> you know, the whole in front of the camera. Well, Alan <laughs> just an arbitrary length the box. Um, so you you guess it is unit dimension. Um, I think that for the purposes of the program, yes, is. I respectfully disagree, but I, I need to communicate the idea. I am just certain but, for you. But I I get that like in. Like if you want to apply it to like a real object, you would probably put it in like. I don't. I don't know. It's hard. I don't know how to think about like. Uh, probably like centimeters or millimeters. Yeah. Like yes. Yes. Yeah. Now we are on a constructed bus. So what? Uh, like. What is the yeah. size uh, between two hydrogen atoms in H two molecule? Like, uh, I don't know, it's in angstroms though, right? So, okay, so angstroms so, are good units. Okay. Oh, I, I don't I don't know like what, uh, how you'd actually apply it to a box, like, oh, but, like a real um, box. <laughs> distance between two hydrogen atoms is like point, 0 0.9 angstrom. Carbon carbon bond is about 1.4 something. Huh? <laughs> okay, uh, and the heavier the atoms, the bigger the atomic one size. Um, what is the distance between electron and proton in hydrogen atom? I do not know. Roughly, probably. I have no idea. <laughs> is it bigger than angstrom or smaller uh, than angstrom? Is it bigger than H to H distance or smaller than H to H distance? God, I think it's, it's smaller. It's smaller than H to yeah, H. It would but, make sense for it to be smaller. smaller but yeah. it's substantially smaller or just a little bit? I think it would be. No, because H to H is different atoms or the H, the electrons and protons that are the same atoms. So it has to be more than. Do you guys speak on the language of bonding and antibonding molecules? Yeah. So I know if, I'm learning it right now. <laughs> if electron two electrons in H2 molecule create a bonding orbit, they are located in a space between this hydrogen between protons. It means distance between electron and proton shouldn't be much bigger than H2H distance. It's about a half. Of the bond length. Okay, I'm, I'm not proving mathematically, I'm just trying to rational thinking. So, electron to proton distance is about half of the bond, so about half of the atoms. And uh, there are mathematical ways to prove that the distance between um, proton and electron in hydrogen atom is 0.52. Uh, 
in its universal result that can be proven either by what important theory or ancient war theory. And it will be like lecture 43 in the small. The, 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 the distance between proton and electron is very long. It's something fundamental. And uh, there are systems of units which are intentionally designed for quantum chemists. We do not want to, like, if you measure distance from electron to nuclei in meters or yeah. feet, it will be 10 to the minus. Well, uh, yeah, angstrom would be to the minus. Well, it's one smaller than uh, nanometer. Right? Okay, so yeah, nanometer ten, ten, ten minus to the minus ten. nine, uh, and this will be ten to the minus ten okay. angstrom. Okay, so it, it's not complicated, and if you select as a basic unit of length and a distance between electron and it will be like uh, atomic unit of lines. Yeah. Okay. So I bet, as an author of this little bit of code, that the atomic units were used here. So in order to convert it to angstroms, we need to multiply about twice, and then it will be size and angstrom. Okay. No, 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 not twice. Divide by two. Yeah, thank you. So, like uh, 25 divided by two will be like 12.5 angstroms, okay. which is like uh, 1.25 nanometers. A nanometer, yeah. you, you, you have an idea of what it is, right? Yeah. You do? Well, I mean, it's <laughs> like. So small you can't even see it. Yeah. Oh, right, but like one atomic bond is uh, is about angstrom, and nanometer is about ten atomic bonds. So if you have a linear chain of ten atoms, it will be approximately one nanometer. So this uh, very roughly corresponds to the size of the book are ten atoms inside ten atomic bonds. Okay. Make sense? Yeah. And if you multiply by uh, 10, it will be like 100 atomic yeah. pairs. I'm just trying to entertain you so that you do not feel bored. Uh, if we read the code and look on the line number two, yes. it gives the value of h bar. h bar is non constant. What is the value? Of... Hey, don't you see a paradox? I thought it was a constant. It has no value. Yes. So, how do you resolve this paradox? What, what is the value of that constant? Uh... Gosh, it's like I thought it was like one point nine or six or six. Okay, six by six, two, three times times yeah. four in twenty minus twenty something. In which units? Joules times second. Yes, joules. But joule is is like uh, is an energy to lift like. Uh, One quarter of a pound by one yard in the in the gravitational force, something like this, right? So it deals with macroscopic. Like if I, it's basically with a glass of beer, with my gym, uh, yeah. Uh, and here, and and one constant is like ten to the minus thirty-four of this. It's not a good unit, but can you select such units in which? One constant will be equal one. Why not? Uh, wait, what? Wait. Oh, you sound, it, it sounds crazy. Um, if you ex if we express okay, let me let me back. 
What's the difference between myelin and sugar? Uh, it's like, I thought it was like, uh, Two point three four kilometers a mile. I'm pretty sure, or maybe maybe one point seven. But uh, like, uh, if I'm writing sixty miles per hour, or how many kilometers per hour do I write? Uh, more, more, yeah, <laughs> maybe hundred about like sixty miles per hour. Yeah. You go up to hundred kilometers yeah, per hour. Is it? I'm like, I don't know any of my. <laughs> Yeah, so, you gotta stop asking me these constants and conversions <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> now you regret that you came first. Well, I didn't know they'd be this late. <laughs> so I am writing with the same absolute velocity, right? But in different units, my speed is measured by, by different numbers. Do you see it? Yeah, units is that. Uh, Planck's constant measures for x one. Huh? What units is Planck's constant measured for x one? Atomic units. So there are. Uh, is it in electron volts? No, uh, but it is very much related. So there are intentionally designed each system of units for quantum chemistry, and the units are designed like we all are tired to write this crazy Planck constant. In all equations, but if you tell them, one constant equals one, we can just skip it. I'll tell you another another secret. What is a like <laughs> line number three? M is a mass of electron. Do you remember mass of electron? It's I did last year. But it, but it's some, something really. Yeah. In, if you measure in kilograms, it's something really small. Something like ten to the negative nine. Yes. It's been in there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it spilled in front of our reactions. Oh, yeah, it spilled all over. It was, it was not oh. one. Not Chauvin and Zoe have to call the safety office. Oh, God, yeah. Now they have to do all the paperwork for it. Yeah. I miss it so much. More fire, more fun. Rob, I think David has us still. I don't even think he put I don't even think he put the safety. He did not. Man, those problems like, oh, uh, they're fine. <laughs> I mean, granted, it did mostly spill in the few hoods, so. Uh -huh. I lost my straw. <laughs> Where? The uh, You don't need that pissy stick. <laughs> that was fire. That's what my dad called That was the coolest thing you've ever said. What? <laughs> what do I need? Uh, if that's the coolest thing I've ever oh. said, I'm not that cool. I don't know why that really impressed me. Okay, is this all right? What all have we missed? Um, a lot. <laughs> so, your professor today is Fred. Okay. All right. Fred. We are. Can we can we go and teach them? Yeah. All right. Go, 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 go. Just just waiting do, do for you guys. <laughs> Tell, tell about the, the first several lines of code. All right, so eight. You'll make screenshots and like and, and publish. Man, I should have been like Sam today and just stayed at home and keep on Zoom. Where it is. So right. uh okay. H bar in this is uh Planck's constant. Uh, it's normally in like that really crazy small number. Um, but we're just defining it as one or purely for the sake of convenience. Uh, same thing with M, which would be the mass of an electron. We're just also like incredibly small, unbelievably small. So we're just defining it as one. Um, I do not exactly know what line four is. Um, so that's, that's your electron volt. Uh, yeah, but like, I don't know what the. I don't know how to explain it more than that green comment. Um, but you can skip it and go to the yeah. next three lines. Uh, but then these are like the dimensions of your box in angstroms, right? Or in atomic units. Or, yeah, whatever. See, it's, it's right. arbitrary. It can be whatever you want. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. 
And that's what we covered, kind of. Can you tell more? Like, um, what 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 is the task? Give them more tasks. So I guess we're looking at like um, how the energy density and the number of possible energy states change, like as you change the dimensions of the box, and it doesn't matter, like. None of these like affect it in any differently than the other. So you could change to like D to 500 and it would give you the same graph as changing X to 500. Um, but as you increase, if you increase two of them, it gives you more of like that stair step pattern. And as you in increase all three of them, they would get like the uh, square root curve looking thing uh yeah and can you bring up the uh image on the microphone the bigger one oh it is it oh. so uh try to interview them and ask uh what are the peaks what they really be crazy interview right now sky <laughs> well i don't know you Wait, what? All right, he just asked you. What are you doing? No, 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 no. Can you make it well, bigger? Yeah, probably. Oh, can I? Yes. So, the relative, like, uh, I guess, like, the area under this curve like the red curve and the area under the blue curve um, is not the same. It's the same. It, it is the same, but it's like, oh yeah. So I, I guess I guess that kind of is like the whole thing, like the all the curves, all the peaks have like the same area underneath them. So Fred but, wants to ask everyone, if you look yeah. at the red curve only, what's the really height of the first and second peak? Of the first and second, the green or the red? The green or the red? The red? Oh, they're the same. Green, green. Oh, they're oh green. Uh, red. Uh, the first peak is lower than the second. But the wait, third, wait, 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 how many? Uh, it looks like a factor of two. It's like half the size of two. One is half the size of two. I'm, I mean, I'm looking at that. I think it looks more like a three times the height to me. <laughs> because there's three the peaks in the second yeah, one. Exactly. Three. Oh, oh, hey. Okay. Three against two. Uh, Fred, uh, I observe a conflict in the class. Can you help them? Uh, well, I think it's three as well. So, uh, our, because, our instructor tells so, three. But can you can you provide an argument because they. Uh, gosh, all right. Um, but I don't understand like the well the jump from one to three. Like the three is representing like the number of uh energy states, I guess, in given like the three shells in a in a p orbital, right? But then the one peak corresponds to like just an s orbital because there's only one of them, only one like spherical thing instead of like three orbitals going in three different dimensions oh. yeah so right. the, the question is why is there are three p orbitals in, instead of two or or four um punch rule but uh if you would live in uh 10 dimensional space how many p orbitals would we have three no we do have three dimensional space x y and z and there oh, are oh oh you have nine you'd have nine <laughs> and minus one so your dimension minus one especially at the camera p no number of p orbitals p p x p y p z Okay, so our our lecture by uh, guest uh, professor is coming oh. to the con.
conclusion, but not, not, not done yet. You have another piece of uh, teaching that you can offer. This one, I this is the one I don't understand. Um, but it's like more or less the same thing. Like you have uh, your quantum numbers, like for your S and P orbitals here. And all the quantum numbers for the S orbital are one, but in all of the P orbitals, one of them is two. So that represents like the two ways, I guess they can uh, go, you know, and it's uh, and it's uh, like respective axis. You know, like I said, I don't, this is a, the one, I don't really okay. quite get, but like the quantum numbers are like the number of energy states it can have. I don't know why the energy, yeah, I don't know. I, is, there, is there anything fun about the equation for wave function? Can you point on this and uh, make everyone to believe in it? Oh, yeah. Um, well, you explained it much better than I did, than I'll be able to definitely. Oh, you are much more trustable, Pachi. Uh, yeah, Fred, you have a PhD. Yeah, right. Did we uh, well, so the quantum numbers like go here in this wave function. Um, and if one of them, you know, it's higher than the other ones, then you're going to have more peaks because, like, the if you're increasing like this value in the sine uh, curve, you're going to have more peaks, right? So then, like, more. Energy states. Yeah. Okay. okay. Do you have any quiz that you want to offer to your students? Uh, Requesting uh, answer to some questions. Uh, I don't know. Um, I guess I don't really have any questions. Give no. us an assignment so that they, we will see the assignment and then disturb you. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's let's apply to our favorite instructor because we're going to tell you right here. Give me a one out of five on my phone. Yeah, I know that Fred has to do that. Thank you. Uh, Fred, you saved all of us. You, you you gave me fifteen minutes of. He's so quiet. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so. Fred can do whatever he has if he wants. Oh yeah. And uh, the rest of us need to work. <laughs> so uh, did you open the MATLAB and the the script? Um, although uh, Fred is uh, really nice and sweet and doesn't give task uh, to everyone from 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 his authority from from his uh, name. But uh, I, I hope he, he will be declaring the question or repeating the homework assignment. So uh, there are two tasks. Practical task, if you don't hear about uh, the background, you can play with these three numbers. Like five, six, seven, after uh, um, changing this number, we need to run the code and um, make a screenshot of the density of states that it generates. And then make uh, maybe, what do you say, lab, lab, lab notebook uh, in form of PowerPoint, like. Um, image of density of states and record what were the values of Lx, Ly, Lz, which are sides of the pink book in our today's class. And then uh, you can fabricate like maybe 10 screenshots, but at the time of submission, you can skip those that are boring or hard to interpret and understand and deliver only the best ones. So here's the main practical, uh, practical assignment that you can without me and even without Fred. Oh. <laughs> because you already told us what to do. Um, well, you are trying to do it on your own pace. 
I'll probably keep telling stories about the code, uh, provoke you these questions, or entertain you. A uh, question. Uh, my figure only has the blue. No, it doesn't. Never mind. I only have a red peak. I don't see red peak. Huh? I don't see red peak at your screen. <laughs> my my blue is your red. I don't have blue. Your blue is my red. <laughs> That's correct. So, but I don't see your red, or I don't see your blue. Uh, you can guess which changes you need to make to this LX, LY, LZ to... Uh, to oh, that's what we're doing today? Right. You're just changing the three parameters and redoing this, uh, this density of states. And then copy paste this image into the whole point and then submit the whole point. Variables. You can put in that. Plot it again. Oh, you're so tired. I am. I have been up uh, way longer than you. I missed many. I missed my nap time. Thank you. You only decided to purchase amongst among the one each table. I second that. We all believe that. You report to you. And this your administration that you have a, you are having a class, and in fact you have a collective left side. Yeah. Yeah. Do we drink? Well, we don't know how to get to the the blue part. The red or the multiple blue. The just I mean, the multi. -line. Like I don't know. There's how to no way to see that says uh, pod, so there's no way for to. So we have to uh, make the code do what we want it to. Oh. Uh, no wait for human. We have to type in our own wait for human. Is that you no, you run it. I do have the I do have the answer, right? And it just takes me time to convert thoughts into words. Okay. I uh, hope you will merciful and patient to wait until yeah, I, yeah. And if you do not trust me, or I you can save like a. If I open this file, Dimitri, this is a fun aspect of that lab. And on the right hand like side of the editor, it has like the editor. little bars and it tells and you this is hits. like where you know you don't have mm -hmm. the, the characters or whatever. In it. Mm -hmm. and, I know, think you that's can, neat. <laughs> you can freely edit the stuff. I agree. <laughs> Uh, for the whole world to do two lines for one inch. Yeah. You get to one line, the one like right, make several um, shots, yeah. and each of them can have one to one line. Okay. Um, What's like your question? My yeah. personal goal was to so, entertain so Patricia and Fred when you were fixing the speech. Mm -hmm. uh, so I would paste it in here and I would run it. Well, that gives the me the first thing one. can be done. Uh, and I was just and trying to go what here to the same point of code and then just do a whole another, another task or another different question. Yeah. So, uh, keeps the lines, keep your, keeps your, your this line on the graph. So mm -hmm. you can add more like well, data to it. And if you then just like get your personal experience without hints, change uh, it again, uh, and then I'll run it again after changing these. React. Respond to that. So just try several attempts. The new line. Change, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. change one of them, rerun, and get the picture. Change another, rerun, and get the picture. And see what happens. Oh. And after you get several yeah. shots and yeah. screenshots into your PowerPoint, it will be a little yeah. easier. So that's what you have right now. Like, try to do like get your personal. Uh, Experience with what with your units. Okay. Your graph here. Are we supposed so to you can color that pictures? Yeah. Maybe not the code. No. You can I write down the values. Hold on. Why you see? And it, the best thing is just immediately oh. paste the oh. screenshots yeah. into both of them. I doubled it. Oh, there it is. And then if you go up and change the 
the axes. Okay. Maybe there's still probably a way you can do it. If you if you have the hold on there, you could. I have a suggestion which has nothing to do with all of that. But not from here. Well, you copy the clear, it'll just be a time I will ask you to press screen. We will have it on the recording. Copy that and then paste it underneath it. So we're going to be watching. We can share and bring it to the. And change the change. My computer can't run MATLAB and Zoom at the same time. So can I log on to Zoom when it is time for me to share my screen? You you can just use this computer if you want to. How am I gonna get my screenshots then? You you create screenshots there and then hey, my homework is already on your phone. I can do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna press some buttons. We still only got yeah, I don't know why you don't have two. So, like that. Open the new PowerPoint. Because this way is easier if you find the, the editor. Sam, you don't have to enter the waiting list. Uh, uh, search, slide. They died good. Her name is 25. Okay. Just uh, How do you take screenshots out here or snips? Snips. Screen snips. Screenshots. Fred. Yeah. You already have it. You already have it like figured out. We can figure what on that lab this. What am I figuring out? Like I know how to like do it. So you like figure it out though. Another, I, I guess, yeah. Like getting the multiple peaks on there. Yeah. That's easy. Yeah, you just run it and in the editors. Yeah, how do you yeah get that's the, literally like, it. Red and black though. Oh, that's you. Yeah, you run it in. Oh, here's this like opposite. Yeah, it just so if you run it once and get that first graph. Yeah. In the command window underneath it, yeah, you would do hold on, okay. change your oh. variables, and then run it again. Okay, you do that. Do what? That's where you just copy and paste the Alex. Um, if you run it in, uh, is that like your editor or the yeah. command one? Yeah, sure. Um, don't run it. Mine is like the command window and the editor both open. You know how, like, if you run something in the editor in the command window, it, yeah, yeah, exactly. It probably pops up the thing that you ran. If you do hold on and then, um, oh no, two words. Hold on. No, no, no. In command, <laughs> hold space on. Oh, I, in the, uh, and it'll keep your line there. And then you just run the same thing again with different variables. Okay. And it'll put, a new line the same yeah. yeah, I was going to say, can we set it up so that we have like PowerPoint in this corner and MATLAB in that corner? Mm. Yeah. 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 For real? Oh. But, but you see, you see that they're coming on different scales. Yes. Therefore, the individual may be sometimes more beneficial. What is the homework, though? Specific. Where it's plotting specific ways. Uh, I declare what homework is. 
Well, here you are comfortable keep working with this. Okay. I'll just stop your sharing screen because there are two terminals. Don't participate. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> Oh man, now we got three lines. We're famous. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Okay. So I can share here temporarily. I don't want that. Body of Christ. I want one. Okay. So who did ask what is the homework? Okay. So homework is due October 14th. Yes. Uh, deliver definition of density of states. Okay. Uh, why it is definition? I don't know what to write here. <laughs> okay. But but probably it's doable. And now the actual the actual work. Uh, select. Four sets. You can do more than four, but uh, select best four sets of LX, LY, LZ that represent three-dimensional bulk, two-dimensional pizza box, one-dimensional quarter row, and zero-dimensional constant dot. So, that's based off the same thing. Oh, I saw and on Think yeah. about it. Think about it. Thank you. And if Fred did, did Fred come with me or I'll you be back. I'll be back. Yeah. So you, uh, we'll we'll have competitors. We are like right. colleagues who help each other. Okay. So consult to each other is okay. completely yeah. consult with me. Hey, I'm <laughs> good. Okay. Someone consult. So I figured out I think it's 27 is the X value we need to have. What? Just repeat, I, I missed it. So I think 27 is the X value we need. Is that what you mean by consult or no? I'm trying to match oh, your what photo. Do you, what do you mean? Um, that one. Are we trying to recreate your graph? How do I how do I uh, turn hold oh wait hold off? Oh yeah, yeah, let's keep let's let's keep discussing it very much. So um how do I clear this graph yeah. first? We should uh, hold down. Yeah. The task is not hard. Right. If we have a clear idea, it's all doable in 10 minutes. By looking into what you are doing, you basically already done. You just need to realize what you did, how we did it, and how to explain it. So, um, reproducing my figures. Maybe not the, the best way. The best way is to, um, if you remember a movie from the class, we had a correlation, one to one uh, correlation between pink box and this like spectrum, density of states. Okay. Right? Yeah. So uh, I'm asking you as a, as a homework to select best four pink boxes. For the, for the for the best four pink boxes, find their density of states and just screenshot them and put them into PowerPoint. Okay. So this is the main task, and then you can add a, a little of um, verbal explanation. How do you interpret? What what does it mean? Okay. What are those? Uh, what were the, the boxes and which shape of the density of states you you see? Is it a little better? Yeah. Like with this, like the stair stepped one, and the yeah, for example, uh, what, what which values of LX, LY, and LZ we should plug into Matlab code in order to get stair case? In order to get what? Stair case, okay. Uh, like two, uh, two dimensional sink when the state doesn't change as we increase energy. What should we do to the three numbers? So you just play. Change the three numbers, redo the image, and then see what happens. So, you, we already have a value for. Can we use the same value you have for the one dimensional since you're already giving us the value for the Sure, one. very welcome to 
use any numbers. So I, I want you to be independent and practice a little creativity. Okay. Or random numbers, random values for the three numbers. These are negative numbers. Are they supposed to be negative? So we have to be practicing. Please log into Zoom. Okay, let's, uh, let's then. I, I'll stop screen sharing and send. You're welcome to start sharing. I need to have permission. Oh, yes. You Our do. great overlord, you Dimitri. I am his guest, and then now he is a co host. Yes. Oh wow, I have the power. Yeah, yeah. Like that. Uh, I think it was up on the PowerPoint up there. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I did it. I got the sales. Oh, okay. So uh you be the next. So Sam, can you can you tell which values of numbers you get and how you interpret it? Um so I'm still kind of messing around to figure out the effect. Um, I'm pretty sure when I had it at 20, I kind of started with 25, my uh, X and Y, or my Y and Z is 25. Um, and I figured and I figured that that gave me the three peaks that I needed. Oh, or I guess the three separations. And then from here, I kind of have just been messing around with X's and Y, the X and Y to see like which one affects kind of like the depth. And so, so you lifted the degeneracy of the P space. Yes, which is interesting, and please record it in your PowerPoint. And for the going uh, right now, uh, look at, at the values that Sam is offering. So uh, his LX, LY, LZ are very close to 25. And 25 in a, uh, units are atomic units, are the unit, the one corresponds yeah. to the electron to proton in hydrogen number. <laughs> so it's about half angstrom. 25 will be about uh, 12 angstrom or 1.2 nanometers, right? So 1.2 nanometers is a typical size of the quantum dot, zero dimension. If you want something bigger, we need to be very brave and increase dimensions at least 10 times, 20 times, and see what happens. Okay, so thank you. You can stop sharing. Now, uh, the next to share is Melody. Um, so, can you share everything and then show it right in the book? Oh. Okay. So, what do, you, what do you show? So, I have on my screen the sailboats at graph um, in the top left corner. Uh, I was basically, I was messing around with the ratios of LX to LY to LZ. Um, and I, I didn't keep all of my graphs on the screen, but I was discovering that it doesn't matter what order, um, it doesn't matter which order the ratios are. Like if I had 25 in LY, 250 in LX, it wouldn't change the graph at all. Um, and so I just, I just kind of kept it LX smallest, LY next smallest, and then LZ. Um, and so I was messing around with the ratios, you know, one to two to, to four, one to two to three. Um, and I kept getting like just random graphs with peaks on them. And I was like, mm, not anything that I recognize. So I just kept increasing the ratio. And so the ratio that I have, which is one to 10 to 100, um, give, it was the first one that gives me this sailboat's peak, um, which, Makes sense based off of what Dmitri said, where you had to have at least times 10 um, to start seeing um, it all come together in this shape. Okay, okay, makes sense? Yeah, I think so. Okay, now the next uh, target is yeah. you, you can keep trying if you want to do something here and we can stop sharing. Okay. I don't, know, I, don't know, I, don't any other um, I don't know if it can it, oh. I'm sure it can be more than 10 times, but yeah. like the. Yeah, you know. yeah. Okay. Well, so the I don't know if it's like, like in steps, so if one of them is 25, the other one has to be. It doesn't matter which. 
And I tried making a scene zero, but then I just tried nothing. I'm just stressing and taking <laughs> Well, Who has an answer on the question? Not me. <laughs> Not me. I wish. Anything fun? Oh, you did your part this. I'm trying to figure out. I don't know how to make the stair steps. Also, can I have some help on how you did it? We don't know. Oh, wait, we were trying to make the sales. Yes. Oh yeah, I got that. I thought we were trying to replicate oh, your. I don't know. Which, uh, trying to get this. Oh yeah, I got that. I did realize that okay. it only works with twenty-five. If yeah. you were to do a one to ten to a thousand of mm -hmm. something else, it does not work. So um, copy paste what you've got and make some comments or complaints. The code we were given to is not working. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> command shift four or command. Yes. Okay. Command shift four. Command shift three, you make the whole screen. Command shift four, you wait for a human to select the area. Oh, so is zero. Three, shouldn't you be able to set one of the one of them equal to zero and that should give you like like if you set lz equal to zero wouldn't that give you the two-dimensional one yes yeah. but when i did it mathematically it just didn't look like anything mathematically and abstractly it looks very appealing by one but practically material science will not forgive us if you do so if i do zero because it yeah, doesn't exist because we, we don't have actual Two dimensions. We always have third dimension and we don't one dimensional one is just one is just a flat line more wide. Oh, Elsa did bring a really interesting philosophical question. Like, why cannot we do size of the box in one of the dimensions equals absolute zero? So um I'm going to do a little illustration. Okay, so uh Mary, Please record what you did, and I'm going to use this terminal just to make uh, another illustration. Okay. Okay. Well, let me take a, uh, if you set one of them to one, it just gives you a straight line. Yeah. yeah. So is the zero convention? I think it is. Where they're all like the same number. Then. I even know what one was the sales. The sale was the one that 25 to 250 to 2500. It was, that, you, that gave you what are you saying? One dimensional? That was the sailboat. Sales was one D. Yeah, yes, it's one D. Okay, right. Okay. I have recorded what I did. Yeah, okay. I will do a very quick illustration for everyone and then I think it's more the same. same. I'm pretty sure, yeah. What they're all the same? Mm -hmm. I think so, because yeah. it gives you like the original like individual peaks. So. Any okay. So uh, do you see the thing on the on the screen, right? I am going to do what, uh, maybe not literally what Elsa suggested, but let's do 15 instead of 25 in each dimension as a little experiment. So I'll do uh, save, <laughs> command line, and then rerun. What, what, is, what do I see? Or what do you see? Rush. One peak and um, okay, let's do hold on, hold on, and now I'm going to, in, to make this number even smaller, maybe just 14, slightly smaller. So that's literally like a very this bless you, our first intelligent computer. Oh, the peak shifted. So if I change the size of the box, what did happen to the energy? Uh, increase smaller the box the bigger the energy if i make the box truly infinitely small the energy will be infinitely large so it will be like another big boom <laughs> so it's energetically dangerous activity on one hand on the other hand we are not like in this building we are not this we are more chemists. And chemists play with ions and electrons. 
Yeah, it's fine. We, we can make sizes of our model smaller than size of a molecule or hydrogen atom. So is bringing it to zero, it means you want to become a physicist, high energy physicist, because you go inside the nucleus and you'll get mega electron volts of energies, right? So it's interesting, but it is not task of our uh, activity here. Did I partial address? I think so, yeah. And it is a beauty of the nanoscience that one can tailor the color of material. Remember the quantum dot this morning? Yeah. By tuning its size. You see, we changed the box size uh, from between from 15 to 14 uh, atomic units, which will which means like from uh, 0.8 to 0.7. Uh, nanometers, you just shrink it a little, and the color changed from red to yellow. Here is the electron volts like 1.9 is about red and 2.2 uh, is about yellowish. So it's very sensitive to, to the size. And by fabricating quantum dots of different size, one can make them shine to shine in different colors. And when you go to the best buy uh, and look onto QLED. This place, it literally uses our uh, discoveries that we are doing in class. If you would become scientists uh, like 30 years ago, we could discover QLED TVs and become rich. <laughs> so does that mean that if you made um, all the dimensions of the box infinitely large, the energy would go to zero? Yes. Did you hear it? Hmm? But energy of what? Particle? Energy of the first state. Of right? The first state. Okay. We, we have much more states. Uh, Fred, can you come here and do things that I cannot do? Uh, <laughs> what would I be able to do? You, you, you can do it. I saw you were um, moving the image to look beyond the borders. Oh, you just scroll out. I feel to do it. Would it Perfect. And I do it. Go on to injury. MVP. Right, hazing. Uh, that is not hazing. You want to be hazed? Yeah, yeah I, I know. You want to be hazed? You want to be hazed? You're, 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 you're on the recording. Yeah. <laughs> you better not. Oh, oh, oh. See, see what you yeah. do. Yeah. And can you, can you pull? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, that's Whoa. what you meant. So uh, there are additional states. You have a like first state, and its energy right. is bigger than zero, but we have much more states. So Melody suggested, what, what if we have infinite size of the box? The energy of the first state will approach to zero, yes. But there will be much more states which have energies bigger than zero. Make sense? Thank, thank you much. You are the main person of today's class without- uh, Plus infinity for us. Plus infinite. Plus infinity, yes. <laughs> Okay, now did please go ahead with this. Uh, things. And now Do we have one D, we still need zero. Yes, you and so if 25, 25 is like roughly two angstroms, I guess we're calling it, or uh, atomic units, or we're calling it. If you set any of these to one, the, it just immediately becomes a straight line. If you set it to one, it it will correspond to a bound of hydrogen atom, which has a first uh, transition in the far UV range. Okay. And then if I go to like about half of it, like the 12, it just gives me one V. So, well, it just you, you the rest of the V. But okay. uh, uh, because each computation has a limitation. Okay. So, how are we supposed to graph the the so one D is one and two dimensional. Just yeah. increase, increase this number. Okay. Oh, all right. And increase them directly. To break. Okay. So to do one dimensional, you would just <laughs> okay. You would just increase this by like one of them by like a lot. But then for two of them for two dimensional, you would increase. Okay. Just okay. okay. change something, run and see what happens. Right. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Yeah, developing yeah, personal experience. Like, yeah. But do do like oh, I change it by point one. Yeah, <laughs> nothing happens. Change it like ten times. Okay. Right. 
Yeah. So when I change it to a hundred thousand. Oh, you're good at it. You can see the peak. The peak goes to zero. It doesn't show the whole peak, but like tip of it, I no. would assume is very close to zero. Not your peak. Okay. Huh? So, um, what is that? It's not yours. Budget. Or trade adults. <laughs> Let me chat a little bit more. So, um, oh. uh, the shit out of you. Uh, in the country I'm from, it is a typical behavior of the young criminals who were <laughs> recently released from prison. Like, you're, you're walking, walking, <laughs> you're walking <laughs> with the street. Hey, how do you know I haven't been to prison? Well, are you kidding? No, you were not. Dimitri, I have no idea how to get the stairs down. Yeah. So you need to please, please try. I'm trying. Please try. I am. And and then we will in, invite whoever will do it. You, you know, by the way, you can log into Zoom and then whoever wins will share. Right? And uh, while we are trying to achieve this little uh, goal, I'm going to entertain you. Before you guys got here. Fred, I'm just so upset when you right now. Oh, can I just type that in on there? Okay. Sure. That's way easier. Yeah. yeah. You don't like Zoom? Uh, not really. <laughs> it would be so much easier to just go up there and do it. It's Melody Lowe's. Get her permission. All right, Melody. Go ahead, Fred. You'll have to turn hold off. I want to delete what I have. I don't know. It might still work. My brain. Do I even want to save this from the meetings? I didn't. I'll do either one. First. Huh? What? She's not done yet. Oh, yeah. 25, 200, and 200. Why? Uh. What? In the <laughs> in <a> brick, <laughs> how? But what's the rationale behind that? Yes, what, Fred, what is the rationale behind it? I don't know. I'm quite happy. How did you do that? Fred? Like, what's uh, the significance of the? Uh, uh, I see. That's around. <laughs> I know. I don't say that, but how should we know? Oh, you can you can team up with Fred and explain his thoughts. You know, Melody. Okay, because. The stair steps is it, it it just jumps up because um L Y is equal to L Z, but it's not equal to L X. This is even better stair steps. L Y is equal to L Z, but neither of them are equal to L X either. Can you show in the in the space by, by by hand waving uh if, if it corresponds to pizza box, how it is oriented? Is it like um, pizza box this way, this way, or this way? Or the X, Y? Let me ask it to everyone. Uh, uh, let's do it collectively. This is like the general, this is the density of states here. And Melody, I know question time. I don't care. Um, so, um, I don't have a good idea. Pose, we do have a pizza box. Ah, sorry, there's no pizza. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, the data that are on the screen, which pizza box it corresponds, arrange it this way, this way, or this way. Oh, wait. Um, well, if you I have. Or in space, and explain. Oh, it's heavier than I thought. There are, there are some. Do not really come take this box from me. I will beat you up. <laughs> Step away. <Should> I... <laughs> what ones are the same? Oh, yeah, my God. Sorry, I'll see you talk a big game. <laughs> Mine's the other side. The shortest one, right? <laughs> well, then wouldn't it be like this? It would be like on the X, Y. I'm a bad attitude toward me. I'm not going to hug you. Oh, yeah, for real. Wouldn't it, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be on the XZ plane? Because if Z and Y are the same, it wouldn't be like this. 
So which well, one? Which one is shorter? X. Huh? X is shorter. X is, oh, you know, oh, so then it would be. X is shorter. Y and Z are longer. So, so, your so it would be like this. Uh -huh. Like you're facing this one like this. Uh, you see okay. that camera? Like I would this. say I would say yes. Everyone agrees. Is this correct? So like you're looking at it like this. So it is shorter on X and longer on Z and Y. Because X is yeah. Mm -hmm. Z is Z is long and Y is long. Yes. And X is short. I agree. Yes. I don't know how well the rest of Everybody else agree? I agree. So, uh, I agree. We're going to say yes. Can you like dumb that down to me? Yeah, I, I think it just, I think it's just, ah, oh, okay. If you do like X and Y long and Z short, it should give the same uh, density of state. Yeah, uh, it doesn't, which order you have them in. Right, right. Because you have like um, ratio. Plus one, 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 Read a little bit. He started asking the same question. Oh, why do you have I, I approached him. Though, <laughs> what do you do? Yeah. And and then we discussed like this this size is it, longest along X. Uh -huh. This one is longest along Y. This one is longest along uh, Z. Uh, yeah, but it, it is the same uh, fire extinguisher. Yeah. So it should have the same density of state, right? Yeah. So if you rotate the box in space, it should be. Mm -hmm. It's the same. There's the 2D. Okay. You're telling me. 3D is the. Well, each step, Oxford. each step corresponds to one. What did you get from Oxford? In the yes. third Three. dimension. Oh, why do you X and Y? What dictionary? I, I'm pretty sure. I don't know what an Oxford comma is. I don't know what that means. This corresponds with D equals zero. This corresponds with D equals what? This corresponds with D equals zero. No, it's okay. Are you serious? To you. Well, if she's not here, she's giving them away. You can have it. I'll share them with Brett. I, 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 yeah. No, I've already accepted. Oh my God, I'm actually a lot bigger right here. And I don't, I'm not going to do that. Damn, why do you get the really flat ones like that? I think this density of states is like uh, the thing that I've understood more than anything else. What red file is happening? So, um, let's move on. No, yeah, 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 Myself. So, uh, Patricia did ask a question. What is the meaning at which energy the step goes from zero to first step, from first step to second step, and is there any meaning behind it? So, can we control the energy at which it performs a step? So let's change it uh, from 25 to 20. Save and guess uh, what should happen. So if I read run with a smaller size of the smallest uh, dimension, what should happen to the step? You will then start earlier or later? Well, start later. earlier, and they'll probably be skinnier step. Yeah. Maybe. Just oh. to the right. So let's, uh, if you didn't notice what happened, let's it make it even smaller, like 15. It doesn't affect the height that much because it's like essentially just like, I don't know, because it's so much smaller than the others, it doesn't affect the height. But if you decrease it, it has like a bigger impact on like the energy. Than the density of states. Yes, Fred, uh, I, I totally agree. So the height uh, doesn't change, but the energy at which this uh, jump happens is modified. So I did make the uh, size along x even smaller. So what I uh, 
how this addition is going to still move to the left or to the right? Even smaller? Yes, if I like to to the, to the bigger to the smaller energy. The bigger energy. To the bigger energy. Is, uh, does everyone agree with Fred? To the bigger energy. Why? The smaller the box is, yeah. the more energy. Yes. And uh, people call it quantum confinement. More confined, more energy shift. Right? So you see, shift it down. 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 But it doesn't affect the. Um, And now, right now, we are using bigger camera so that you didn't get affected. So it did shift it here. Uh, but usually, does it partially answer your question? Yeah. And uh, the what, the energy when it makes a second jump, to the second step, also shifts away, right? So. The quantum confinement in the transversal direction controls the size of the set. Not the heights, but the length. Make sense? Okay. You can continue your innovative way to, to do homework. What, what do you mean? Oh, the three dimensional would be like the, the you're doing for the square root PowerPoint and print it off for Friday's homework. And for that one, or do either print or send, send a PDF or PowerPoint as an, as an email. Okay. And look through uh, some, some questions that you may want to type in or answer. So we are approaching to glorious end. My last thing is to do this uh, square root digital state. Whoa. Wait, what's zero? What's the zero dimension? Like a kind of just like a. Oh, I don't think it's like a parabola with a dark. It turns a different yeah. question. So yeah. Emma is asking everyone, what is a zero dimensional system? Okay. Anyone knows the line? No, 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 no. It's just a zero dimensional model. It just means that the particles in one spot, right? Yeah, it means that LX, LY, LZ are very small. And the same? And the same, yes. So we basically started from it, right? Okay. So yeah, like 25 is small enough? Yes. Make sense? Yeah. Sorry, I, I didn't get that. LX, Y, that's 25, we get that by, once we get the- um, Individual peaks. That's yeah. zero. It looks like a spectrum of uh, standalone hydrogen, right? <laughs> Very sparse linear spectrum, right? Why there's so many peaks with the one that, but I mean, it, it does like, or the zero In the tunnel, I guess. Yeah, well, yeah, it's just the same thing I mean, before, but like, so uh, if it's confined to like a spot, uh, wouldn't it have one energy state? Well, so, like, one spot is, is about to... one nanometer inside, it's like 10 by 10 by 10 x. It's not a, even a single hydrogen atom, a single electron has an uh, infinite number of point states. They just offset substantial okay. So if you, all right, all right. Okay, so oh, yeah, we need to do the, the right. square root one. Yes. And while uh, you're pursuing this step, I will try to entertain you guys and. Uh, well, maybe a little bit more about the code itself. Can you teach us the Russian word for elephant?
to maybe stop. Maybe. Oh. <laughs> but you can out tap and go into. So um, I have no idea if, if the thing I'm going to do is useful because we are already about done. So um, what is the density of states? It is the the derivative of the yeah. numbers. There are two, two definitions. One is uh, derivative of number of states, and another practical that we have delta function of energy minus energy of uh, all possible eigenstates, x, y, and z. Summation, summation, and x, and y, and z. Uh, does anyone want to object this definition or tell that it is not clear? There will be no punishment. Object. I don't object, but it's the derivative of like the wave function of its. No, that's what? a delta. It's a delta. Little that's a little delta. Delta. Oh. delta function is just a peak uh, at the eigen energy. This looks familiar to things that I saw in calculus three that were related to density. So yeah. I feel like this is oh, right. I have oh, no disagreements. I'll give that example for density in calc three, it was integrals. Okay, thank you for, for the support. Now, uh, do we have a uh, formula for this E sub and X and Y and Z? Uh, yes. Uh, so we can, we, we did an, an, an in class. X and Y and Z is a summation uh, of E and X plus E and Y plus E and Z, which will be A squared Q M Y squared N X squared L X squared. Oh, yeah, Y squared L Y squared and uh, Z squared over L Z squared. So basically, the side of the box in different direction gives a proportionality coefficient. How much change in the quantum number is reflected into the energy? So by changing proportion, the, the contribution for, from a given quantum number makes different effects on the total energy. Right? Now, we, the code that you are practicing implements this set of two equations. Um, formally, here and x goes from one to infinity, and y goes from one to infinity, and z goes from one to infinity. Do our computers allow to count up to infinity? No. no. no, no so no, we no. need to select uh, some threshold that would be as good as infinity. So can you look through the code and tell what infinity is set up to? Two thousand is it? No, 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 no. Let me give you a sheet. Huh? Fancy. Thirty. Uh, Patricia, how did you learn that it is thirty? I saw NX from one to thirty. Oh, yeah. Okay, so one uh, sets up a cycle. So wow. summation means repeat the same procedure again and again, and you'll see that there are cycles in the lines 20, 21, 22, right? So we replace uh, infinity by thirty. 30, 30, 30. Now, um, what, how do we represent delta function? So delta of E is set up as exponential to, to the power minus E squared over like a bit parameter, uh, one over square root of uh, two pi bits parameter. Which line of the code gives this uh, Gaussian function? Uh, 29. Uh, I would say from uh, 29 to 31. So maybe, Mauri, would you like to share a screen? Because you are, I, I see that you, you're. Can I ask a question before we go ahead? Or after we go ahead? So, um, 
we see the screenshot by Mary. So, um, uh, what is sigma? Oh, because you're on your account. Sigma is the sub matrix. No, no, no. Sigma is how broad. So, we represent in, infinite with thin and infinite with high delta function as the more like the, the, the distributed Gaussian with finite width. And sigma is the width. Now, uh, the E range minus E x y z is the sub fraction of uh, uh, continuous energy and energy of eigenstate. And we call it nominator, but we want to put it exponential nominator. Shift that will be Gaussian function. And uh, what is D H? I think it is just uh, deltas. Maybe. Oh, yeah, and denominator is in line 2021. 20, so it's just a factor in front of uh, exponential. Okay. Mm. What is in line 32? Huh? How how would you explain it? So it is still an implementation of, of this summation, right? So we need to sigma big sigma sign means it is adding together all these delta functions. And each time we come through the cycle, we add together one individual uh, delta. Um, what is the E capital here? And there. So I think it is E range, right? Uh, which uh, is that the initial, like the energy in the first state? <laughs> let's uh, enough focusing on B. Let's focus on the button. Ask what is E range? Any any ideas? Just let's scroll through the code and identify what is E range. In which line of the code is it is defined and what does it mean? Oh. E range equals zero. E range. <laughs> it's from zero to thirty, and the increments are from the der the derivative of energy. So uh, line, I line fifteen. Yeah. So we go. Uh, it sets up the. Uh, remember when we just started math up, we were setting up independent x going from zero to two pi with very fine steps. So we define the area of definition in the, how to say, pseudo continuous discrete way, right? So it picks up all values from zero to Emax with a step D. And this uh, Emax is the area of definition uh, where we want to plot our density of states. So density of states exist, one density of states, does exist or it exists, right? Um, from zero to infinity. But we, again, computers do not take infinity. We need to select a range where we want to define and plot it. And to make a code running, we need to set up the value of Emax somewhere at the beginning. It's five. Five in uh, five thousand volts. Uh, we like uh, a border between visible and UV is about three electron volts. So we, we look UV visible, right? Okay. So uh, can you scroll a little further? Further? Now, DOS uh, should be, should have the same, it is an array with the same amount of elements as E range. Right? So it is a continuous representation as a of a function. And then uh, we can plot in line 37 along x if you be E range, along y if you be density of states. Right? And if you show our summation of all peaks together, combined in a superposition and providing the final answer for each of our single runs. Make sense? I Hope it is okay if you will not type comments to each line as we did before. Yes, because we are grown adults and we can get basic idea without 
practice. Um, that is a okay with me. Okay. So uh, I don't know. Should I say sorry for entertaining you? COVID Wait, we didn't do the square root. Yes, I was just so making to make all of them really big. I will listen. Listen to your instructor, Fred. Frederick, Frederick, Prof. Fred, Professor Fred. Make them very big. Yeah, and see what like happens. ten thousand. Like, maybe like uh, 200. This is like 200. Like, first, the higher than that, you could. This is what I'm at. They only need the same. Yeah. Literally just making a larger big box. Not a fucking group. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, oh, big. Well, you made them too big. Oh, oh. Make it like 200. Like I said. Or 2,000. Okay. 1,000 is too big. Um. 1,000 is, 1,000 is, or 2,000. Oh, it's just because of the, you're making too large of a box for the oh, parameters so that you're getting. Yeah. Um, I cannot say it better than Fred. He provides you really valuable instruction. But let me try to express the same idea in the same, in the same way. So here's a little challenge that maybe a few of you already noticed. Sure. So if you try to set up uh, the, if you try to, if you try, if you try to set up, yeah, but, but the green microphones work anyway. Yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm just, I'm just tired to hear and, and I like to whisper, but everyone will hear me. <laughs> okay, so some of you might have noticed that if all, Three sizes are set to really large numbers. Density of states anyway goes to zero rather quickly, right? It is what Patricia did show with a confused. I did, I have seen it with Melody, but now she, she fixed it. And maybe a few of, you, of others also noticed it. If you do like 10,000, it instantly Instead of growing like a square root, it dumps to zero, right? Because it overwhelms the MATLAB system. <laughs> I think the box is like too big for like the particle that has any like sizable energy. Because the smaller you make, the bigger the energy gets. So it's like a massive box is just floating around in there with like hardly any energy. I don't know. Sort of. It's like it's like not. It's no longer even observable. Uh, it, it it isn't observable. Uh, how do you take the comment of Fred? Can you repeat what he told? No, because I don't know how to explain it. Oh, uh, it's a main principle of um, collective brainstorming. Whoever speaks louder is is more correct. <laughs> Therefore, I'm using the microphone. And because the box is so big, there just isn't much energy because it can just move around basically freely. Uh, yes, yes, and no. Let, let, let me. I. You both have some ratio, but I would like to say it my way, which may be not better than, than yours. Okay. I'll try to do it simpler. So there is a major approximation where we set up that infinity equals to 30, right? The larger the quantum number, the bigger, the higher value of energy we can accommodate, right? And uh, on one hand, so if we increase quantum number, energy increases, but if you increase size of the box, energy decreases, and they are in conflict. So in order to, to achieve certain energy, we need either to have very big quantum number or very small size of the box. So if you have a drop to zero, you can either use a little smaller box or increase this approximation. In, uh, assume that Assume 
Or if if we would be in a criminal um, movie, then melody need to needs to kill me, cut cut my finger and apply it to the to the fingerprint reader. <laughs> Good thing we're not in that. My pleasure. I'm so happy we are not in a criminal movie. Yeah, true. <laughs> so um I'm so happy. <laughs> so uh the way to fix oh yeah, I, I think what Melody is showing is 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 uh, is this thing. So if we are in the range of trustability you know, for our, our code, if our approximation of infinity equals 30 is is valid then we have a growth in a square root trend as soon as we go away from this um, trend we start falling down because we do not have enough quantum numbers but there are two ways to fix either to take smaller box or uh in the cycles in the lines uh 20 21 23 change 30 to let's say 50 but since total number of points that we uh, use will be a cube of this number it will slow down computer noticeably like if you do 100 by 100 by 100 you your human patience will uh yes wear out so if you do like 40 or 50 we can wait maybe like 10 seconds or one minute and it will be done with higher precision with longer uh, interval um patricia does it answer your question okay okay mm -hmm. so did everyone uh, go get the uh, square root figure as uh melody is showing yes. did you screenshot and put it in your powerpoint yeah do we have any any reason to stay here longer no <laughs> so where, where is camera Oh, meeting, meeting is dismissed. Meeting is done. Meeting is done. Oh, I think we. Exactly. Everyone is welcome to depart in peace and relax. I didn't make this. But... Yes. Are we supposed to um, set up files like the IM files, or are you do finding? You do not. Do you do not need to submit it right now? You can just. Uh, go home relax and sometimes before now and friday class send it and there will whatever you feel more comfortable we, we, are, we are not going to collectively grade this one because it's too easy when you, we will have complicated derivations then i need printed copies because you will do collective grading all right uh, and, and there, there are there are a couple other questions uh, that you are expected to address but you're basically done. They're not so complicated. Thank you for your dedication to the class and questions. Yes, yes. Meeting is done. Oh, yes, it is enough. Well, let me send it. I, know I'm so I will sorry. Sorry. send it to you as an email and you can process it at home and the comments. Okay. <laughs> Best ever homework. So, were you guys doing the antimony lab or the yeah. calcium lab? And yeah. it was supposed to take three weeks, but the, we could go in last week, so we had to do like two labs. So, it all did today, yeah. Yeah, I remember actually both of the ECAM labs ended like really early in the semester and we just moved through everything and there's like what like five or six labs for yeah. the whole semester because we were hoping to be done the week before thanksgiving but because we couldn't go into the lab last week we're going to get it done the week after thanksgiving yeah. because yeah we have to take the final so we don't even have to do a lab the last week yeah yeah which is fine yeah. I'll help you with done. ACAM if you help me with inorg bro we keep <laughs> I don't know about that. Probably I don't, no, I, I just about as much as me. Um, um, Seth would also be able to help you with. Oh uh, yeah, I know. I know Wyatt and Spencer also offer. I'll yeah, probably ask them for help the mind. <laughs> But I am afraid to go for Seth. Seth for help. Really? Yeah. He and, is oh, like I'm the one professor. Either. He is just, like Seth is the one professor. Probably besides Dimitri, actually, that I would have like no hesitation going to for help. Nah, I just don't want him thinking I'm like dumb. 
you know. Oh, he already thinks I'm dumb, have, so it's okay. Well, yeah, I want to be. Yeah, you. you I want to be the, the bad thing. Well, <laughs> Sam, yeah, I did. Dad, which wrapper away, sir? I threw mine away. There, you have a wrapper. Oh, 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 have a good night. Bye, Demetrius. You want to Much love. Oh, that's not what. No, Seth. Seth was the person. How did you get to figure out how to call it? Actually, like, Hi, Carl. Bye, Demetrius. Bye. Good night.